Turn right, Machine Works. My name is Keith. I just got off the phone there. Jeff Draper gave me a call and said he's got the wood chipper down there in the neighborhood. He's got a new set of knives in there, and he said this thing is just chewing it up. So hey, let's go on down there and check out some beaver. At Cape Cod Tech, where my boys went to school, right down the road there, there's cranberry bog, all iced over. All right, we found them. Yeah, towards semi towards this direction here. Right at you. Yep. That's a heavy dude. <laughs>
Okay. Eighteen twenty inch log there. Each time they're re rigging to get a straighter pull right down the path. I think here they're going to just like hand pull it to the side as it slides. That's right.
the zoo you want to call, get it done. We got some more work construction going on here. And we had about an inch of snow there last night. And uh, I mean, we're getting up into, we might be close to 40 today. But this morning it was pretty, it was ice pretty much uh, on the top layer there. side of the road here. I think it's going to complement a bike path or something. It's kind of hard to figure out. You know, it's a guessing game until it's all done, I guess. Right to the left is the uh, fire station. Just to let you know how close it is to the house and why you hear sirens go by here so often. And of course, right across the street from us is the school right here, elementary school. Both my boys went to that school and uh, now they're both, well, one's in college and one's out of college. And here we are back at Homestead. run down there. I hope I didn't show too much beaver. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad that I'm actually able to uh, get down there and actually give you guys a little bit of footage uh, on something that actually was worked on in the shop here. So um, it, it was, I thank Jeff uh, uh, Draper and all of the guys that he has working on his crew down there. And I got to, you know, you can see they're, they're all good guys down there. Um, so Anyhow, uh, you know, that, that machine was up here in my yard about a year ago or so, and I never knew about the the feed rollers and the control of RPM versus the feed of the roller, and that's the main reason why you want the recovery time. And it's old school, so I don't know if it's solenoids or what that are triggering the hydraulics to, to feed. He says the new ones that are electronic uh, actually reverse the roller slightly to help, uh, it, you know, they control the feed of that in so that it actually doesn't drop uh, on the RPMs and there's a little bit more control on there. And that machine is pretty pricey. I, I, right off the top of my head, you know, the machine was running everything else. And I don't know if it was like a 60,000 or, or a little bit better than that uh, piece of equipment there. Um, anyhow, it was great to get down there and I hope that was uh, satisfying to you guys. Uh, until the next job, get her done. <laughs>